Let's talk about Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. Hello fellow book nerds, this is Gabby and today I have another review for you for a brand new release from Fonda Lee, who if you don't know is the author of Jade City, who, which was a quite popular book series. Uh, but this is her newest release, it's a novella, it's only about 150 pages long. But um, it's a first five star of the month, so let's talk about it. So first, let's start with a little bit of a synopsis. So in Untethered Sky, again, a bit briefly because it is only 150 pages long. But in Untethered Sky, we follow the main character of Esther, whose whole life dream is to be a rook rider. Rooks are these massive birds who are the size of a human or even larger and they um, can hunt manticores. So the main purpose of them in the army is to hunt manticores. So the rider has this like chariot that they attach the bird to and then once they, once they want to uh, hunt, they let the rooks fly. Um, so it's the kind of thing you get into early in life and you kind of dedicate your whole being to it. This whole book really we just follow Esther meeting her rook, training her rook and going on adventures with her rook. But let's get into some details uh, because this book is magical I should definitely pick it up. Like spoiler alert for this review I guess. But first let me just touch a little bit on the writing and I just found it so melancholic in a sense it was a uh, in first person and i it felt like the whole thing was just like this reminiscent account and it, it is in a sense it's definitely it's told in past tense but it's told as if the characters already lived through it and it's kind of reflecting on it you know if i knew then what i know now kind of thing uh and it's got this like really melancholy vibe to it where the main character is kind of reflecting on a special time in her life and i really loved that i thought that was a very engaging way to tell the story and it was really well written and fonda lee has amazing writing we all know that but it just continues in this book and i really enjoyed that um, it's almost like slice of life uh, perspective um, and we're gonna get into it a little bit more but it was a really really well written book and the world is a kind of new section also alert new section alert for reviews but I thought I'd talk about the world and the world building because uh, that's something really important to me in books so the world felt extremely fleshed out. I was reading this and I was like, maybe this is a novella that's gonna introduce us to a whole new series because this world felt so fleshed out. Like there's so much more to it. And I really enjoyed it because it felt like we only got the slice of it, but the world is so much bigger and there is so much more to it, which I really enjoyed because it has this like richness, you know, all you want out of your uh, fantasy worlds is to transport you into a brand new world. And I felt like this book did a really good job of that. And I feel like there's so so much space for another book book series in this world again there just feels like there's so much more under the surface and we could get so much more out of it and it was done really well i could not tell whether this was beginning of a series or not as far as i know right now just a novella just a standalone no continuation in the world but i'm telling that it definitely could have continuation it's done really well to set up this this real world that feels like tangible and that there, there is more to it than we're hearing because this is just like a slice of perspective of one type of person in this world. And that takes me to plot. And I actually thought that it was a very interesting way this story was told. And the perspective we chose was unique and different than what you normally get. So the reason I'm saying this, it almost felt like the main character wasn't the main character, if that makes any sense at all. You start the story and you kind of expect, you know, okay, this will be the greatest rook writer of all time. This will be a story of someone who, you know, goes off with the prince, of someone whose rook is so much different, who is so much different than everyone else. Like, you, you, know, you, you know, the usual chosen one type of story. There are several times in this book where I felt like, who in a traditional book, maybe if it was a actual trilogy, whatever, that would be the main person and we would be following their, their life story. But we follow this kind of normal person. Like it, she's hardworking and she, and she's dedicated and she's passionate, but there's nothing to like mark her as the main character, you know? And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was a unique way to tell the story, a unique perspective. And that's why I almost felt like slice of life type of thing. We like got to experience this, this time in this writer's world and experience what she's experienced with her rook. 
that it's like not this epic spanning story and you wouldn't expect it to be considering it's only 150 pages long it was unique it was different and i really enjoyed it and i enjoyed this perspective and i enjoyed what it told me that brings me on to characters esther was an interesting character to follow because again it's this like removed quality there is because she's telling the story from the past and it's also like she just wants you to sh just to know this one bit of her that one bit of story never getting too personal or like showing you glimpses of who she is but not maybe not entirely meaning it it's like she needs to work up the courage to say it all and i also liked how she interacted with other characters and there's not that many characters it's a very short book but there's uh darius who's a fellow trainer there's the, the prince there's uh, Hermione? Nerma? No, or something? I don't know. The, like, her friend. They were all pretty well fleshed out considering how contained the book was, but the book was from Esther's perspective. So it's very much like what she thought to share after a while. It was really well done. I felt taken for on a ride and I think themes, uh, which is my last section, is kind of the big part of why. It was about loving a wild thing, you know, a wild beast, a monster, and and also this one-sided type of love you have where the other creature can't love you back in this case. And I thought it was beautiful that I was kind of talking about the purpose of life, but then also finding meaning when something goes awry and then overall finding meaning in your life. And I just love this book. Like it is a short novella. There isn't that much I want to say about it, but I just thought I'd do this review so that people pick it up because obviously they will pick it up mostly because it's Fondalee, not because I told them to, because was that like 60 views so like 10 people maybe maybe will pick it up but i loved it if you love a story that's that's about wildness it's about life it's about finding your purpose it's about loving entirely and and having this one thing define absolutely who you are then pick up this book and it also has this amazing world that is just full of life teeming with possibility and adventure so untethered sky was a five star for me i would 100 percent recommend it go pick it up enjoy it i'm sure whatever series book fondali comes up with next will be just as amazing and i'll be definitely there to pick it up but Untethered Sky was this beautiful read that I just devoured in like a day. I mean, it is admittedly short, but I still really loved it and would 100% recommend. So yeah, let me know. Have you read Untethered Sky? Have you read anything else by Fonda Lee? Did I convince you to pick it up? Let me know what you thought. But uh, in the meantime, if you could comment, like and subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. It really helps me out. That's it for me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.